There's quite a few items in the exhibition that I have a personal connection with, um, especially things such as the Lee Wan Chia collection. He was a self-taught photographer who actually owned and operated kind of a public facing, public involvement museum, which was literally just about five minutes down the road from where I'm actually from. I didn't know anything about him before. I, I hadn't heard of him. The thing that I particularly like in Lee's archive is a badge from the LYC Museum, which is a museum that he founded and set up in Cumbria. The fascinating thing about this museum is that he built most of it from scratch and then through curating his different exhibitions he involved you know, the whole community around him and there's a collection of beautiful photographs of community art projects so I think he was really ahead of his game in what he was doing there. Unfortunately I never actually got to visit the museum or see it when he was alive but um, I've spoken to people about him and they actually do remember Lee Wan Chia. He used to walk from the museum into the city centre of Carlisle and buy his chemicals and get his films processed. This is one of Lee Wan Chia's cameras. Um, we think it was probably one of the main cameras that he used for the, the proper imaging that he did as opposed to the experimental things. It's not exactly an old camera but it is quite a rare, quite unique one. Um, and to just have that kind of item and think about him using it and creating some of the amazing images that he that he took is quite special. My favourite aspect of his work is the experimental photography that he was doing. He uses a lot of darkroom techniques that we learned as we were growing up. So it's really interesting to see how his work developed and he taught himself photography and what he was doing and how he learned that was actually quite similar to what I've done in the past. I think the items that were shown will reflect his artistic practice. There's a variety of cameras which range through date so you can see him using the different processes so it obviously dates it at a particular time and development in photography. We've got out quite a lot of his photographic tools which he would have used in his, in his artistic practice so hopefully that will give a flavour of what he was doing and how he developed as an artist. A lot of the time we'll see artwork going into exhibitions but you don't ever see any of the kind of the backstory or how these things were created. So having objects like Lee Wan Chia's cameras that tell more of a story about how things were made, about the people that made them, I think there's quite a unique exhibition.